So what are they explaining to you at the time that, you know, you guys have a look, we can make you guys the big stars. Like, oh, yeah. did, did they even fathom? Like, are they telling you at this moment we could sell trillions of records? Or are they just basically saying like, look, let's just make a hit single and see what happens? No, it was none of that. I, as Because, you know, I, I, now inside 2020, the first meeting we had was to look what we look like because they heard about us what they look mm -hmm. like what what are they about you know so we just spoke about music you know and it, like i said frank was there very shortly so he was more uh, in contact with ingrid and we, we just talked about our dreams and what we do we wanted to sing you know just like a regular artist who, who gets an opportunity so you try to sell yourself you're like yo you know you know we we, we really want to work with you we we sing we perform you know rob played played guitar with some basic blues chords and we would try to write all the time you know so we talked about you know the fact that yeah Rob played guitar not very well but we said oh he played guitar we sing harmonies together you know and it was not that long they were busy they said okay it was a pleasure to meet you but what was cool is they pay for the rental car so I was like oh nice mm -hmm. you know so you know we didn't have to spend any money to get there so that that was cool so even though it, the meeting was short. We're like, okay, so we'll call you. We keep in touch. We got their numbers, you know, and like, you know, and this we were told, hey, talk to Ingrid. She's the one to talk mm -hmm. to. But Frank, no access. But at then any they, time, did anybody, I'm, I'm so curious. I'm sorry for At any time, did anybody comment on your actual singing voices? That's what I was wondering as y'all were going through this part of the process. No, no, no. It was just the first meeting. Then after that, through the months, we, you know, we, we were like, okay, we're going to get in business with this dude. We know he got money. We were doing, you know, we were performing, but it was not bringing the money. So we were like, okay, since we know we're going to work with them, maybe we should call them and ask for, you know, a little bit of money. Like, you know, mm -hmm. and they were always very nice and say, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's some money. We didn't know that that money wasn't free. So we, we kept calling, we kept calling, we kept getting we had to pay our rent, you know, hook up that hair, you know, eat the basics. We didn't have much. So then, finally, we were able to come to the studio, you know. And um, first, they played us. They first of all, before doing all that, we had signed a contract because we we came a few times in between, and we signed a recording contract. So that's why the money that we have been we've been receiving. You know, prior was becoming okay. It's official. Sign the contract. There is no, no manager, no, you know, no attorney. And today I was I, I was talking to someone, and it just popped in my head that we were given the last two pages of the contract. We were never given the contract. Like, hey, here's the contract. Go check it out like this. No, they gave us the last two pages. I didn't speak oh. German. That, that contract, contract was in German. So mm. we had to, so, hey, here it is. The money was there. It's like, yo, cash is on the table. I like, won't get, we're going to get some paper. So we just signed. That's the, just like that. So we thought like, man, it's cool. And then after that, we kept asking for some money because it took so long in order to get to the studio until we got to the studio. And then, you know, I, I, I didn't know much about, because the studio that we worked at, they used to have like Tascam. They, ne they, ne they didn't have like the knees with the tapes. Mm -hmm. When we come in when we got to the studio, we saw all the tapes hanging on the wall. And it was like, oh, oh what is that? And it was like, it was like, oh yeah, it's because, you know, we, we know where everything is. Oh, cool. But, when they play the track, I'm sure they mute the vo the, the the vocals because the oh, so y'all are so y'all sang these songs. Oh God, y'all sang no, these no, no, songs. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh. The songs were already recorded. The singers were already on there because they right. were recording music ahead of time. So if I would have known about how a studio works, a big studio works, I could have seen like oh, lead vocals, backgrounds here, harmonies. I didn't know. So when we came to the studio, they just, they did what they did. I'm sure they muted and said, hey, here's the track. 
and then it was just instrumental. That's oh, okay. what it was. So, so they, they like, didn't play you no. the vocal. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. So, but that's right. It was banging. I mean, you had like, you know, you had the main that was poor. Oh, it was like, for us, you know, when you're young, your imagination runs wild. So we mm -hmm. saw ourselves like on stage and doing this thing. Rob was looking at me like we were smiling. Like he was like, yo, we're good. But we never talked until this point. Nobody came, no, no, no vocal coach. Cause you know, everybody was the vocal coach. I mean, you know, the, mm -hmm. a lot of people were, and I didn't know that, but there's a coach, there's a songwriter, there's, and you take people, even though they don't have the talent at that moment, they got a little something, something. Some people invest and they believe in them. And then after an album or two, like, yo, they're good. They're pretty sweet. But it was none of that. Because the only thing he was interested in from the beginning was to use the visuals. That's all. Because he did it yeah. with Bonnie M. Let me explain. Frank Farian sang the vocal of Bobby, of Bobby Farrell. The what? guy the black yes. from Berlin. Yeah. I did not know that. So 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 Frank did the vocals for Bobby Farrell. And that's where he found his um his formula. Like, oh, that works. Also, the one thing I heard was that and uh, you know, Frank was an artist, was trying to make it, and the mm -hmm. music that he was making, the label were like, hey, no, nah. he can make black music. You're white. So I think my dude. And ugly. Oh, sorry. I didn't think that. But, and, 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 and you know what happened? He's like, so as an artist, he was like, oh, so I can do black music because I'm white. All right, then. So he figured, he figured it out. He got his formula. He got, he got the girls. Mm -hmm. He got the guy. And then he did the vocals from the guy. And then he kept working, kept working, kept working. Then years passed and Milo Vanilli comes around well he can't do that so what he's gonna do he's gonna go get people that he works with in his studio have them come at night military operation we are in munich we don't know nothing they, they they got the guys but the thing is they were already looking mm -hmm. they were preparing that stuff in advance we just came into the fold we just fell into the trap not okay. knowing that the sole thing they were willing to, they wanted to use was the face. So singing was ne never came into play. So when we heard the track and we were smiling, then uh, he took us to another room and then he, he kind of put it on us and he started talking to Rob in German because through the years, I was more like an after the thought. I was never... I guess I never, never was really truly respected. I never felt you didn't have the green eyes. Well, yeah. I, 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 I was missing something. So mm -hmm. it was always they were talking to him, and they would relay everything to me, and he would then he relayed everything to me, and he was getting pissed. Rob was like a firecracker, so I could see him like, "Ooh, my dude is getting mad." Like, yo, we were feeling good a second ago. You messed it all up. I'm thinking, you said something wrong. And we lose, we lost that thing. The dude walked away pissed, pissed because we didn't want to do it. And Rob was like, no, we're not doing that. So Rob was already saying, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, Ingrid, like the, the voice of reason comes like, I think it's in Mowgli, you know, there's the, there's, I think it's a snake in Mowgli that comes in like, hey. Sweet talks you into it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey. Just, and and makes you look at reality. Hey, you got some money, you know. 